Well, uh, I came from a Chinese family, and my mom taught classical piano. And she taught me from, I think, the age of five. And uh, she actually forced me to play classical piano, and um, I never regretted that she did. Um, I would have regretted it if she gave up on me, because I was very adamant on having her stop. Um, but she wasn't very happy that I started playing jazz, though. Um, <laughs> That generally tends to happen sometimes when you start out with a classical thing first. Yeah. Um, but when I found jazz, I just couldn't stop listening. You know, as soon as I found um, McCoy Tyner, I just fell in love with, you know, his, his energy, his, his raw power. You know, that's the thing I, I, I love about, about jazz and jazz piano. One of my loves musically is to kind of jump from styles. You know, I grew up really learning the foundation and bebop jazz, but have such a love for, you know, fusion and, you know, parts of pop culture and blues and all of these things. And, and I think it's important as young upcoming jazz musicians really pushing the music forward that we bring what only we can bring in 2016, being, you know, a 24-year-old can bring to the music. and. And the beautiful thing is like watching that translate to other people my age and kind of bringing other people of my generation in because that's so important. And I think that Charlie Parker and Miles Davis would be smiling down upon us to see the music shaping in a way that, that really embodies like current things as well.